Hot spot. Okay. Huh? Display main goal. End game hit. Toilet cube. There's a toilet humor setting. There's a toilet humor setting. Okay, if, if, if it's that bad, I'm, I'm wondering how bad is it? If it's, um, what's it called? If it's that one other game that I play, that I did the quick play for, then we, and we have a problem. But, I'll leave it on all for now. Okay. Um, well, I can't show the title screen because I'm past it. Demetrios! Demetrios? Whatever. The Big Cynical Adventure. I've actually had this game for quite a while, I just haven't even touched it. Do you like toilet humor? Uh, well, that it just depends on how bad your jokes are. If your jokes are just horrible, we're turning it off. So let's just let's just leave, leave it at full setting. Paris, a hot July night. My name is Bjorn. Bjorn. Uh, oh yes, Bjorn. No comment. Sorry, I'm a bit drunk currently. Anyway, on that fateful night, I got a phone call. Uh, hello? Mr. Thorner? Yeah, that's me, but who? I need to warn you. You're in grave danger. What the? Oh, I get it. Good prey. Uh, uh, night. No, don't! No! If only I had known his phone call, it changed my life forever. Later that night. First thing that came to mind. Took a flashlight and moved towards the living room. Eh. There seemed to be nothing, but then oh. <laughs> I fell flat on the floor and farted. A few hours later, that sound. The phone. I ran to pick it up. Hello? George, why the heck are you still home? Uh, Tom, I had some trouble. Don't tell me you forgot we were fishing today! Come here at once! Sorry, I don't think I'll go miles. I have some important matters to attend to. Knowing you, I guess it won't change your mind. Alright, then, just come for dinner this evening. You can tell me more then. Alright, I'll do my best. See ya! Ah! Head hurts. What happened already? I think someone was in my apartment. He must have knocked me out. Before reporting to the police, I better check to see if anything's missing. <coughs> Parish Maris. Okay. Iron cleaning products, useless stuff. <laughs> that one's totally empty. Aside from the hundred cockroaches living in there. That one, there's only a big piece of sheet in there. Sheet with two E's. Eh. It's not as bad as the other game that I. I can't think of the other game I played. Well, that other game that I tried out for the toilet humor was just awful, and I just didn't want to play it because of it. Oh, yes, I remember now. It's the only door open lock, so I keep some cash in there. The question is, where's the key? Hey, it was 
wasn't like this yesterday. Burglar must have stepped on it. Seriously, what kind of thief trips over trash bags? Looks like, works like an old front. Hi, <laughs> man. I swear I cooked eggs on it once. Looking good. The painting is really something. There are several interpretations for the pattern, though. According to ancient alien theorists, this one represents a UFO destroying the Earth on Judgment Day. But some others say the truth. Say the truth is out there. I like to read my comics here. If I need a map, couldn't put it anywhere else. Where's the cord? That's a power socket. Although this makes me think. I always wonder what it really does if you put your fingers in there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! You're giving me the option to kill myself. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, that's totally an urban legend, and I'm gonna prove it. And he's dead, folks. Here lies Bjorn, Thor, found dead in his apartment <laughs> after all his neighbors complained about a foul order. What? I died on the first screen? <laughs> oh, you, like, you gave me the option. I'm just like, wow. Like, I ain't. That plant looks like a zombie. Maybe we should water it more often. There's no- oh, there's a plant. I see it. Wow, I should really stop touching it now. Ah! And there goes the beautiful pottery auntie gave me. What a shame. You don't seem too- you don't seem too angry about it. Oh, I lost that pack of the chips last week. Wow. Still good. Wow, sir. Wow. Can you kill yourself by eating the chips? No. Nope. Game console. Not Nintendo. <laughs> it's not a Nintendo. <laughs> Salesman told me it was all new next gen. I must have a console. Somehow I feel cheated. Welcome to life. Not only a DVD player, it also reads VHS cassettes. How luxurious. <laughs> That thing isn't broken yet. <laughs> Almost every like every DVD VHS player I have gone I have gone through has broken on me. Every DVD VHS player I've gone through has broken on me. The only magazines in this show. More precisely, hundreds of TV channel listings. Oh god. It's stuck. Can't open it. Weird, there's no lock. You can open it! Try harder! Harder! <laughs> Look, brute force will open anything, so do it. Like, you need to. <laughs> I lost the remote control, so it's stuck on the cooking fan channel. Only cooking programs. I brought this DVD from Tom, Snow White and the Three Little Pigs. I love cartoon movies. It reminds me of my childhood. One disc non-special DVD, Sexy Max Films. Oh. 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 Oh, what's that X rating on the back? Probably a mistake. One of my boots. Favorites for winter. They really keep your feet warm. Wonder where the other one is. Right there. Ah, there it is. Great. Not that I'll be wearing them. It's 100 degrees outside. Fahrenheit. I love these things. They remind me of Christmas. Even if I don't like Christmas that much. My parents never gave me any present. They said it was too commercial and that Santa doesn't exist. How could they lie to me like that? <laughs> oh. Urgent box. Oh yes! Put some urgent things to do inside a few years ago. Totally forgot about it. My cousins 
are very religious. They offered me this. They said it was an angel of beauty and purity. I used it to scare away insects. I guess it worked. Weird. I hate these things. Weird. I heard these. Oh, I heard these things grow in closets, but mine doesn't. Maybe I should have watered. A lot of tissues. But the rate I go through them is astonishing. Wow! Oh, I forgot I had this. Mini vibrating. Oh. Um, wow, sir. Um, um, I'm just going to close this now. It's totally empty. I don't put anything inside. Maybe that's why. Bag is really mysterious. Hmm. Well, after looking inside, I think it's better to leave that mystery alone. I'm absolutely certain there's something useful here, like a key or something. I can't see a thing. I can't stand tired. The awful feeling of having your throat squeeze, suffocating. <laughs> Put my wallet in here. Let's see. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Empty! I've been robbed! Cash? Credit card? All gone! Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. The thief must have taken it. At least left my ID card. What a gentleman. <laughs> Born in 82. Sex in a... Hmm. Alright. Oh. Uh, Alright, okay. Eight five one one two three six six five four seven. S stop. Nine nine nine. <laughs> reading this. Four nine eight. U. <laughs> to buy a shopping glance. Fortunately, I stored some spare money in that cupboard. Where's the key to open it? I can't pull the curtain back any farther. There's nothing interesting behind it anyway. Wow, cookie, how did it appear? Wonder what I could do with that. I don't think there's anything else for searching. It's my items. Added all kinds of doodahs in these bags. I don't want to get rid of them, but I'll, at the same time, I have no intention of ever touching them again. My flashlight had it when I was knocked out last night. Crappy. There's only one problem batteries are dead. They need replacements. Well, I mean, that's why we have. And the same size, good. I got this statue a few months ago. Don't know what exactly that bird is supposed to represent, but it looked cool. Hey, wait a minute. There was a tablet on it earlier. I remember it clearly because it er, fell when I moved the statue last week. But I know I put it back. It was a tablet shaped like a lightning bolt. It's gone, and I don't see anywhere see it anywhere else in here. So the thief must have taken it. But why? I'm gonna tell the police about this. Recently, I made an advertisement to promote my store. I bought all that stuff here to take a picture so it looked more authentic. And I think about it, I could have taken the picture at my store instead of bringing all this here. I don't know. 
really handy if I have a heart attack. They can just put me inside directly. The Mona Lisa. Yep, this is a man of reconstruction of Mona. This is a man's reconstruction of Mona. It's made by an artist named Leonardo da Vinci. Uh huh. Really nice place. I got 50. I got them for 50 magical points at my supermarket. Some of my childhood workbooks. Boring stuff. I used to store some money and important papers in there. But it was too obvious a hiding spot, so I moved them elsewhere. <laughs> Seems like a book for learning to cook. Who needs that? Not me, anyway. I don't know. Take all your stuff. The story of a little boy expelled from his home. Take all your stuff and scram. Comics are fun. I mostly love European comics such as Tantan and. Huh. Don't waste anything, salvage everything. Oh, these are hints. <laughs> Don't waste anything. Oh, dang. Too late. I flushed the toilet. Um, yeah. That's the Spanish version. Spanish or not, doesn't make much of a difference. I wouldn't understand a word of it anyway. No lie, that is definitely an ecological book. All the pages are blank. Henry the Unknown. This book relates the life of a man who never lived. Horror story. That title sure makes me want to read it. Says, says that on the cover to update the book next year to read it. Technology. Barbie is big poop. Oh god. Finally a book that tells the truth. Cook ingredients. Mickey cracks. That, that's a collector's edition. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Self-help for people who can't stop eating sweets. Haha. Uh -huh. Legend of Little Johnny. It's not even a little it's not even a joke. Oh no, it reset it's reset again. I'll be late for work every morning. Well it doesn't matter, I'm my own boss. I'd rather use my landline phone. The cell phone has much better sound and it's so practical. Where is it anyway? Anyone home? Mousy? Oh no, no answer. Maybe it's died of hunger or something. Poor little newspaper. Alone and naked on the floor. You're not even interesting. Just the boring, just boring business articles. I don't travel with my favorite teddy anymore. I won't take the risk of damaging it. It's not that comfortable or pretty. I don't care. When you sleep, you don't notice details like that. Did I click on everything? I think I did. Nope. Only some clothes and underpants in there. Wow, you keep them high up. This. It's like a can of food. You should grab it. It's so high! It's high! It's so high! Not, not high enough, no. Oh. Best before October. Well, they say it's best to eat it before the date. They say it's best to eat before that date. Not required. Good enough for me. How are you not dead? Clock works like clockwork. Or not. I don't know when you need some good scissors. Those look like safety scissors. Oh, they don't cut a hole in my hand. That's the answer. It's even written there. Totally not panties in my medicine cabinet. I wasn't even thinking that, but now I am. It looked interesting, but it hit it there. Nothing in it, and I don't need a purse. It's a regular minute. 
mirror. What did I expect? Ghostly face coming out of it? It's clear with <laughs> it's clear with that there, isn't it? I'm lucky. This thing never gets clogged. Urinating in it. Wow, this guy. My toothbrush, toothpaste, and some peanut butter. Oh, I totally forgot I had this can of white paint. This thing's back from when I repainted the room two years ago. Funny how things become invisible when you see them every day. Just some wash gloves and disposable razors. Oh, and a bag of cat food. Who goes to the hairdresser nowadays? With the wonderful technology, anyone can save the 20 euros for, for a cut. It smells funny, to be honest. Maybe it's literally eau de toilette. Some water they took from the toilet after people took a pee. That would just by the name, anyway. And the smell. The name is cool. Med 500. I only knew what this was for. <laughs> Head on. Probably directly to the forehead. It's my deodorant. Fresh it up. With this coconut flavored deodorant, the tropics will come destroy your filth. My blush. Oops. No. Sip of the tongue. bathroom power sockets have some extra protection. I don't know what would happen if I stuck my finger in there. AGAIN?! You know what? Because of the way you live, I'm killing you. <laughs> Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. So disappointing. Dang it! Oh! Oh god. I can't live- I can't live like this. <laughs> Bleach, bathroom gel cleaner, and some candy. Oh god, this is... Who gives a crap about that? And these are all cars I managed to save from my childhood. If only I could drive these, I'm sick of walking. I'm going to read magazines when I'm doing my... You think this curtain hides lots of... Interesting, it does. Actually, it's empty as my bank account. It's so cute. What a Greek smart cat supposed to clean. <sighs> so far, Bjorn. Mm -mm. You have a horrible life, sir. You live a. Ugh! <laughs> so many name. Can someone really make her explain like that? You need to clean that, sir. Supposedly, they're bleached as it. I've never been able to open it, though. Plastic child protection. Thank goodness for whoever invented that. No more running around the room looking for paper to wipe her. Statue. Oh, I remember now. This is an invoice for what I bought that weird bird statue. Why didn't the thief steal the tablet from me? It's quite a number. Quite a phone number. You bought it for 20 bucks. Or 20 euros. Which I don't know how much that is in USD. 20 euros is like, what, 27 USD? I'm ballparking it. Now he's taunting me for clicking everything. This 
bin is dedicated to storing every useless paper I read here. This is a reproduction of what happens when I have that gastro gastro inter. I have not you. That's a word I never use. And oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not reading a whole lot of it because I recommend these. Very helpful for cleaning the room without leaving a trace on the floor. The iron chair looks nice, but it's actually awful. After sitting in it for an hour, I can't get out of it. I should have bought something less comfortable. Wait, what did I just say? That thing isn't broken? How is it even possible? It fell from six feet high! Not even a scratch. That thing's spear must be inside protecting it. Can't see any other explanation. Okay. A few fun fair coins will match you. What a coincidence. The fun fair starts tomorrow. I'll put these coins aside for now. Now you're officially dead, zombie plant. Kind of, still kind of smells the rotten eggs. Mm. Er, actually, no, that's not the reading here. Wait, um, you should get out of here. Night dark, night dark. Oh, I could do this all day. Okay, he's just taunting me. You've got to be kidding me. I've already replaced it twice, rubbish console. Oops, I am so not buying another one. At least not until Glad of War 4 is released. Can't wait. I can't remember the last time I bought cookies. I don't know. Piero della Francesca. Could mean Statue of France. Maybe French fries? That's a string from the trash bag. Mm, maybe that could be useful. What? I can't rip it with my hands. I don't usually buy extra strong trash bags. Okay, so I guess scissors to trash Yeah, buying those scissors was the best thing I ever done. Okay. We still gotta find the key. I don't see anything obvious. I don't see anything obvious. Give me your tail, kitty, so I can wash up crap.
peanut butter was just as good as toothpaste, but cheaper. I hope he wasn't joking because I bought this jar for that sole purpose. Every bathroom needs a hairbrush. I mean, who doesn't have one? Men with messy hair, of course. Yeah, it's really cute, but I don't really, I don't really think I need it. Five euro, five point seven five euros. I thought I had more than that. I mean, you've got my credit card. Great. Empty now. No more. Uh, uh. Is there anything else I need to grab? Well, you said you needed to call the cops, right? Mate, when I come back drunk, then eh, never mind. Another red decoration kind of gives a jungle feeling to the uh huh. Okay, that's just a cop. If only I had a wife, those would disappear like magic. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, let's watch some cartoons. Can't wait. Six Mac Films. Never heard of that studio. Here's Snow White. Ugh. What is that? What's that pig doing? Hey, stop it! Don't you hear her screaming? Wow. Well, that's what I call a modernized remake. Alright. See if I can kill him. Need smaller blades. These don't... <laughs> uh... Anything else worth clicking? That painting is amazing. Seriously, that's the most helpful painting I've seen in my life. And I own it. Am I forgetting anything? Well, he doesn't have a cell phone, which who knows where that is. And he doesn't want to call the cops on his landline. So I guess we're leaving. Oh, hello. 
help you, Orange. Pardon me, but did you hear all that racket last night? Racket? What racket? It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. Woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, not really. I'm a heavy sleeper yet, you know. Can you tell me anything more about what happened last night? Well, it was two men judging from their voices. And? Oh, one and oh, one had a deep voice and four an accent? What about the other voice? Let me think. The one they're high pitched and that's pretty that's pretty much all I can remember. Hey Sandra, what do you do for a living? Watermelon seller? Seller? Or maybe barbecue food? Yorn, I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. <laughs> it's so funny. The picture, it's just... <laughs> okay, I get it. That's the last time you get to see that. Look at this. Cash, why are you showing me this? Are you? Hey, I'm not that kind of woman. No, I just didn't mean her. Thank you for acting. I should start following that advice. Yeah. What's this, a rich man? You're offering me this? No, you like this. Too valuable. Uh, what about? You're yeah, for you. Are you mocking me? I figured this would help you until you learn the code. No, thank you. Not much else to talk about. What were they talking about? Yeah, I didn't hear them, I couldn't really understand. They're probably speaking a different language. Chinese or Arabic, maybe? Or maybe she was just too far from them. It's more likely. Anything else? Argument? Right. To be honest, I was half asleep. I can't remember, so I can't remember much. Why are you asking? Just curious, that's all. Hey, what are you? Look, I'm feeling a bit tired. Can we talk later? Okay. Can she be tired? She hasn't done any work at all today. Well then. Oh, before I forget, while you're here, do you remember that book you told me about? Book? Yes, the cookbook. Oh, right. Yeah, as soon as I get it, I'll bring it. Right. Bring it to you. Alright, see you later. Where was the cookbook? I think it was in... Great! This is exactly the book Sandra was looking for. Now the, intr now the intruder in my library is gone. Why do you knock on my door? Door? I have a doorbell, you know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not used to these modern gadgets. As promised, here's your cooking Bible. Sorry for the day. To make up for it, you can keep it. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. With this, I'll finally become the real cook I've always wanted to be. Is she serious? I owe you one, Bjorn. Please take this. Got a lighter. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a lighter! Uh, I can see that, but why are you giving me this? I found it in front of my door. It may be long to one of the men from the fight last night. Sounded so interested earlier, so I figured I'd give it to you. Good thinking. Do you know? Something's written on the lighter. For Hector. For Hector. For Hector. I didn't need the address. The moment LLC. Sorry, I just lost some thought. Besides that, how are you getting on getting on in your new life? It's truly different from the countryside here. My friends believe making friends is not harder. People just don't have the same attitude. I don't mind helping you integrate into the city. I would. Although the best person for that would be for for nine days. Our first floor janitor. In a week, you'll make so many friends that you only want one thing. 
go back to the farmland. Are you being ironic? Do you have something against rural people? Sorry, I misspoke. I only mean that I'd rather smell pollution than cow. What? I think I've heard enough. Goodbye, Mr. Thorn. Whoops, maybe I went a little too far. No problem, I'll just let her calm down. Please panic and scream loudly. Great, now I know what to do next time. Never figured out why there are two buttons. Shouldn't one be enough? Is there really any difference between top and the bottom one? Really, sir. Oh no, it's been empty. Where am I going to find used chewing gum now? Something tells me I should avoid using it. I'm so tired. Do I really have to use the stairs? Oh, I can kill him again! <laughs> Let's go! Ah! <laughs> Here's how you're in third. Who took a broken elevator and broke his neck like an idiot? <laughs> Better read the signs. Look, if you didn't live like a snob. Hmm? Something's in there. It's an elixir. Whoops. Someone asked. I'll just say that rats recently learned to climb walls. You wouldn't be too wrong. Okay, but what if I'm dumb? Dumb as in mute, I mean. Would have been I would have been surprised if it had worked. Oh, to the police department first. Um, yo. Oh, look at that. CRT monitor. A well, flat tube, and here I thought police had no budget. It's like a school pencil case. Oh, and there are little hearts on it. What an ugly cup. Some child's drawings. No, wait, is that a signature? Here's a message to my lovely Sarah, Gigi. Wow. Wow. Looks more comfortable than mine. A photocopier in a police department? I actually made a bet a while ago. <laughs> oh, I can kill him again, huh? Oh, well. I may not get a second chance. Sir! Well, sir? Mister, that photocopy is strictly reserved. Please stop. Hey, what are you doing? Don't sit on it! You'll break it! Are you listening? What? What's that horrible thing you copied? You copied your butt? I made a bet with someone. I had to. Hands over your head now! I'm sorry. I'll pay for the photocopies I made. Oh my god. You crapped on it? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. I thought I just part, but when I let it go, it suddenly... You're going to jail! But first, you'll clean up that crap! Oh, please, though, it's... I can't, it's... Uh, oh, ew. No respect for the police. Your Thor charged for making copies of his button police department and shitting on the photo Oh, maybe I should turn down the toilet humor. Next time I'll think before accepting a bet. Well, you won your bet. And hey, you got to keep your clothes. <laughs> you know, I swear I've seen that character somewhere else. Can't pinpoint wi where or when though. Maybe I'll remember soon. What's that? This? Paris, potatoes, milk, ham, cow's on, low 
Did they mistake the Dark Lord for a bullet? Looks like we're having fun at the police station. Maybe I chose the wrong career after all. If this gets me killed again. Mister, where are you going? Just playing some darts, is that okay? Ah, I usually no, but I'm curious how someone so simple-minded would do. Hey, what do you mean simple-minded? Never mind, let's see if you're better than Eugene. A little concentration, amen. Man. Whoops. In the wall. That was your first try. Better look next time. Let's try that again. Time I won't miss. What? You won't miss? What? The wall? Hardy har har. Here we go. There. Not perfect, but on the board this time. You sure? Yeah. Whoops. Right in the shopping list. Looks like I hit potatoes. Okay, I can feel it this time. You're not giving up, huh? Nope. Watch carefully. Well, at least you can't do any worse. Here we go. There. Ah! Huh? Where's the dart? You moron! You almost killed me! It threw an inch from my face! No, really? Take that back. You're even worse than Eugene! Oh, well, I'll try again. No! Stop that or I'll call the police! Er, I mean, we'll lock you up! And you're not fine. Can I play again? No! Oh, come on. I'll do better. I promise. Read my lips. No way. Read my lips. Ah, fiddlesticks. Uh oh. Okay. I exhausted that. Peeing on the plan is forbidden. Hmm. Certainly gives me ideas. Oh my god. Uh, oh! Oh my god. Do it. Uh, Mister! Mister! You're not alone over there! Hey! What are you doing? What the? Hands over your head! Now! I said now! You haven't set my pants yet! Well, do it quick! Put it away! Oh my god! You totally flooded the plan! Sorry, I couldn't do this to her. She couldn't find a toilet. Pooping on the printer wasn't enough for you? Hey, you're not supposed to remember that. Not only that, but you tried to kill me with a dart earlier. That was an accident. I can't believe it. We put that sign on put that sign on purpose after what happened last time. Oh, someone else did this too? Ooh. To the jail then! Come on! Move, you pissing pig! Jar, charged for relieving himself in public. Next time, better look for a toy. We're just fighting all the deaths, huh? Someone tells me that doormat serves a specific purpose. Wow, that's a useful message. Stealing is bad, murder is badder. This is a use this useful message was funded through public taxes. F U F U uh. <laughs> Alright, the window is here. That could prove useful in the emergency. Holy crap. Not me, I swear. The wind did it. Well, I'm lucky I haven't noticed. Yeah. Oh well, they sure have they show you have a cleaning lady. She'll take care of it. That trash on a plant. You should at least clean up occasionally. Maybe it's a trash making plant? <laughs> oh. Please lodge a complaint here. Figure I didn't V car before talking. Right. Oops, of course I need to show him, not the furniture. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to file a complaint for a burglary and aggression. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What? You don't even ask my name first? There are two options. If you have an ID card, your name is written on it. If you don't, any answer you give wouldn't be acceptable anyway. <laughs> Here you go. 
Ah, finally. Why did I have to show you the ID card in the first place then? Yeah, finally. See, that wasn't so hard. Speak for yourself. Let's see. Mr. Bjorn, no. Say, your name doesn't sound very French. Listen, I was born in Paris. I'm French. End of the line. Whoa, don't lose your temper. That was just a little joke. But you're right. These days, I don't feel so well. And I'm thirsty here. Wish we had an ice cream machine. Anyway, let's not get off track. So, you like to file a complaint? One second. I'll grab the form. Go on, tell me what happened. So, yesterday I was at my apartment when suddenly blah blah blah. And here I am. There. You know everything. Interesting. So now I'll just wait for the ink to dry and then put your complaint in the appropriate file cabinet. Wait, I don't get it. I explained I've been robbed and knocked unconscious and that's all you do? My good man, we've received dozens of complaints about attacks like these every day. Anyone with any sense would understand that we only follow up <laughs> on the most important cases. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find your aggressor. With a whole barrel of luck you made. Sorry, I can't do more for you. I'd like to report something important. Yes? You see, I've got a rare statue at home. It's supposed to have a kind of tablet on it. And it's gone. It was there yesterday and I can't find it anywhere. So... So... So this must be what the thieves were after. They stole it. Or maybe you just moved the tablet someplace else? Or it went in the trash when you used your vacuum cleaner? You don't take me seriously, do you? No, I don't. Listen, I'll add this to the complaint file if that's what you want. Yes, but don't you understand? This is no ordinary burglary! Bur Ooh, it's, I butchered that word. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Listen, I like to speak to someone competent. Speak with someone competent? Are you suggesting I'm incompetent? No, I don't mean that. It's pretty clear you are incompetent. Just, could I speak to an inspector, please? I'm sorry, there's only Inspector... I, I'm not... I didn't take French, I took Spanish. They're supposed to be the same thing, more or less, but... At least I've been told they are very similar. But, uh, I'm sorry, Inspector Kase... Kase... And there's only Inspector Kase, and he's terribly busy these days. Come back another day. But I need to see... But I need to see him now! That's impossible. Very sorry, sir. Can you book me an appointment with Mr. Kaze? I already said he's very busy. I know, but you still haven't told me when he'll be available. Let's see. Ah, you're lucky. He has a five-minute opening next week at 6 a.m. You're kidding, right? I'm a police officer, sir. I wouldn't dare. Right. I bet you don't have scissors like this at the police station. Actually, you're right, we don't. Maybe you can give it to Eugene. He wants some cutouts. Want to do some cutouts. Eugene? A colleague? Yes, he made some beautiful drawings and wants to cut them out. Sorry, that was just a joke. I'm not giving them away. That's not funny. Pure Eugene. Do you smoke? I'm trying to stop. Get that thing away from my face. It's dangerous. What? A lighter? Dangerous? Of course not. Just press here and. Ah! See, you burned yourself. That's your fault. You distracted me. We use flashlights like this when we investigate. But is that so? Cost me two euros. What cheapskates? That's for you. So this is how. Is that a bribe? Oh, that's a big word. Let's just say it's my way of showing my appreciation. No way! I'm an honest policeman, mister! Really? Stop it, or... Okay, okay, I'm kidding. Been there, done that. I think the string will help. Help do what? I don't know, I thought you'd tell me. You always expect the police to know everything. Hey, Roy, do you like animated films? No, I hate them. They're too violent. The characters keep dying in those films. In cartoons? Of course not. Well, there was a study. Children's animated films depict death three times more than often the regular films. I never noticed. 
Next time you watch cartoon, pay attention. <laughs> when you eat? When we eat? In a few hours, why? Well, I found this can of food in my wardrobe. It expired a few years ago, but it's probably still that one. No, thank you. I need to work on my salesmanship. I'll go now. Sure, good day. Hello. Hello! Hey, I'm talking to you! Mr. Don't insist, Eugene has some hearing problems. What? You mean he can't hear anything I say? Precisely. Awesome. If you got any questions, ask me. So they can cut some pictures? If I give them to them, I won't be able to cut any out any pictures myself. Me? Destroy works of art? Who the worst crap on earth, which is right here, doesn't deserve that. Mister? You're not allowed to go there. Oh. Yeah? What did I say? There are beautiful flowers on the first floor. Well, that's true, but you can't go over there. Stop! But you shall not pass! Are you deaf? Yes. Stop it! Next time I'll call the police. Er, I meant, we're going to arrest you. I'm sure you won't. I have better things to do than, than to watch over you. Like what? Staring at the wall? Including, but not exclusively, staring at the wall. Enough! Next time you go to jail! Yeah, right. As if you could. Ugh. See, you can't do any- What the- Get off me! Ah, that hurts! I'm gonna complain to police! <laughs> it took a minute. You're in charge for irritating everyone and is not giving a crap about warnings. When it says stop, it's better to stop. <laughs> oh. And the thing is, these aren't really, well, as, as some people would describe Sierra game deaths. Because the thing for, like, how people de describe Sierra Adventure game deaths are, like, if you do something and you had no idea, like, you died because you had no idea that this was going to happen when you die. Although, I would call it a Sierra game death because the game warns you. Oftentimes it warns you, and in a lot of cases, the only thing that it doesn't really, it won't really warn you about, but it's like, you, like, you should use common sense to be like, okay, I use this item, and I still need it, I need to pick it back up. I think I've exhausted every death here. I do appreciate that we have adventure game deaths. <laughs> oh, adventure game! Adventure game deck game overs are some of the best. It's just like get punished for stupid stuff. Well, get punished for not using common sense. Wow, would you look at that! Such awesome deals. Got to hit it quick. Probably what my clients think when they look at my window. Really? Why does he look like Jared? Great. For once, something made in France. What? Five euros for one ice cream? This is outrageous! I can hear you, you know. I can hear you, you know. Look, modern. Look, modern. These sellers are so stupid. This is a blend, blend in all the streets. Some people put tennis balls on their trailer hitch to prevent from rusting. Why not a football? I would think it'd be more efficient. What a lovely rustic trash bin. 
last sanitized 1999. You know, I'd have, I, you know, I'd have guessed it from the stench. Musty Street. Many things inside. It's probably all musty now. It's like there's not a space. There's not enough space on the ground for all the trash. I fucked my driver's test, so I have no idea what that sign's for. I believe it means blue cars are allowed, red cars forbid. Yeah, it makes sense. Is it poisonous? I wonder. I can't climb that. This is real life, not a video game. Either no one's home, they're deaf, or they don't care. I still think this is just extorting money from children. Or rather than parents. I've never seen anyone complain. Well, I'm the first. Are you a parent? Nope. You're the first child to complain. <laughs> hmm. Well, that police officer did say he wanted some ice cream. No, oh, mister. <laughs> you want an ice cream? Of course not. I'm here to buy groceries. No. Oh. <laughs> I see you're the funny one, eh? What are your specialties? The West Indian ice cream? Kiwi, guava, and lychee all mixed together to make the most delicious dessert ever. I don't know what two of those things are. <laughs> you want one? Maybe they. There's also the Scottish one. It's on sale currently. Really? How much? 50 cents. Really? Less than a euro? Less than a euro? Really? Why is it so cheap? Well, to tell the truth, it's only water. I mean an ice cube. It's a Scottish ice cream now. Pathetic. Any others? Well, how about a Polish ice cream? Cold as Poland, it's made with vodka and mint. You just have to be careful not to eat too many. Besides, I'm not allowed to sell it to youngsters. Do I look like a child? Oh, so you want one? Nope. I'd like a... Yes. Uh, nothing. Oh. Wouldn't mind buying a delicious ice cream with current... But with the current state of my finances... Can you see that? Hey buddy, are you gonna buy an ice cream? No, I just wanna make you salivate over these riches you can't have. Huh, you're very funny. That wasn't a joke. Bye. Yep. I thought the point of parasols was to prevent sunburn. So why did he turn it to the side? It's not very bright for a bald man. Bright. The sun. Oh, I made a joke! <sighs> uh, me going from there? Wrong icon, man. Wrong icon. Floating shoes, tentacles, a three-eyed fish. Nothing unusual. The heck? Me going to sewers? What kind of fool would do something so stupid? I wonder if he's making jokes on Brock. Can't see anything. Not that I expected to find anything interesting in sewers. Oh, the bag isn't totally empty. People disgust me. Bring a good pack on the floor with, with chips still inside. Really, guy? Delicious. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, Newspaper. Doesn't look very in. Wait. That. The picture. That's the same bird statue. The article says. Says an antique dealer was killed last week for unknown reason. It's awfully similar to what happened to me last night. Which means maybe I'm a little bit lucky after all. I better keep this article. No, I haven't written. Use a city to lose your hair. 
<laughs> to lose your hair. <laughs> Mr. Gal, Mr. Gal, Galgeon leaves behind a wife, two children, a cat, a guinea pig, three fish, and a wireless mouse. Hmm. A cow terrorizes school. Paint is thirty times more effective than poo car. Huh? He eats his toes. What the? The door has been forced open. Great. Ergivus must have visited my store, too. What are they looking for? Let's see if anything's missing. One of them has a pink handle. I suppose it's for women. Smite men who cheated on me. An arrow with, and two spears, to be more precise. Why don't the killers in horror movies ever use these kind of weapons? That'd be awesome. A dagger and a machete. They can both be used for decoration or peeling potatoes. And that's full of holes, so it's cheaper. It's a flute! Not quite the sound I expected. These are symbols that the pet these are symbols that peasants used to ask the gods for miracles. Like to cure diseases or remo remove viruses from the computers. What the? Is that blood on it? Nah, just bubblegum. Probably some kid. I seriously doubt anyone can carry this. It weighs a ton. Maybe they were giants. Some of the items in my store come from museums. Sometimes they get rid of the cool stuff they decide it's probably fake. <laughs> broken in some places, but I doubt anyone's going to buy this. It's a whole water anyway. It's sealed. That box cannot be opened. I believe it was made like that from the beginning. That box could be opened, someone would have bought it already. All the mystery of what it contains makes it attractive to me. I admit it wants to make the room look pretty. It ended up being a disaster. The candlestick itself was the only thing I could salvage. The mirror is half broken. I don't think clients expect to buy mint condition articles here anyway. The view from afar looks like it's made of crystal. However, when you get close, you realize it's plastic. Looks made Egyptian. Probably a fake, though. Shield is a type of per personal armor meant to intercept attacks either by stopping projectiles like arrows or redirecting a hit from a sword, mace, battle axe, or similar weapon to the side of the shield bearer. Thank you so much, Wikipedia. You know how to use Wikipedia in your... Use that word in the game? I mean, I guess that's, pu I guess that's public. I guess that's public access, so I guess they don't mind. It's supposed to be some kind of fly is it, it's supposed to be some kind of flying creature? Considering the number of times it's fallen, I'd say it doesn't fly very well. An antique umbrella. I already know it's antique. Well the shape, of course. And the smell. It's blank, so people can make their own flag. We accept, we don't accept rubber checks anymore. <laughs> Vintage is great. Vintage is easy money. I never put anything on the chair. Aside from my butt, obviously. So, let's see if... No, it's empty. The thief must have... Wait, it's been empty for ages. The thief has nothing to do with this. Some plastic flowers. I think I never wanted them anyway. So either they're plastic. Oh, they hmm. My phone! Totally forgot I left it here yesterday. No messages. Hmm. <laughs> 
special offer today. 50% off everything new. I'm a marketing genius. The flat world. Oh my god. I don't know. Yep, that's a rare reproduction of a map from back when people thought the earth was flat. Nice plant. The only downside is kids playing hide and seek in it. Did I mention I hate kids? Well, I can't go upstairs. I sold me a very big, very heavy piano. I tried to put it upstairs, but failed. It's totally stuck on the stairs, blocking the way. So I just decided to close the floor. Definitely the most logical thing to do, and the easiest. I can't move the piano. So I can't go upstairs. Did I click on everything? Well, that's weird. I'm not completely sure, considering how much rubbish I have here, but... Nothing seems to be missing from my store. So why is... Why is the door forced open? Alright, so what should I do now? The logo of a sect of merchants selling drugs to innocent people. More or less. What's that makeup table ad doing there. Oh, I remember. I sold that right after opening the store six years ago. I had to climb it once. Cat got up on the roof and refused to come down. Started to scare the clients. So I busted up all my courage to climb up there and threw the cat in a nearby garbage bin. Cruelty to animals. How dare you. When I was young, I wanted to be a fireman. Growing up is so cruel for your inner child. Such a nice little tree. I put Christmas decorations on it every year. Hmm? No one's coming. Seriously, what kind of lousy dealer owns this store? I thought I saw a question mark pop up. I drew that logo myself. Amazing, huh? How do I make the, uh... So how do I make the... Ah. And there's an the autosave. Nothing too dangerous to overwrite. No, too dangerous to overwrite. <laughs> I missed some game overs, huh? <laughs> this is only chapter one. <laughs> Can you find all 68 game overs? So there's more game overs at the house, huh? And there's points for... Yeah, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell, this is also by the guy that made Brock the Investigator. Which, obviously, Brock is his latest project, so everything were So, I, I'm trying to think of the right words. I can't think of the right words <laughs> for it. I, like, I already like Brock better than this. 
<laughs> this is just silly. Call back later. Hello? Mr. Banks? Oh yes, that's me. It's Mr. Thorne, do you remember me? Oh, not really. I'm the antiques dealer from Paris. You sold me the statue that looks like birds? Oh yes, I remember now. Can I ask a few questions about it? Oh, is there a problem? To be honest, yes. Can you tell me how you got it? That was a few months ago during my last trip to the Middle East. To the Middle East. Oh yes, my wife took a vacation to Egypt. I found it in the market and named Abdibdo or something like that. The Egyptian wanted to get rid of it, so he sold it to me for next to nothing. To be honest, I hated it, but my wife insisted. She's a very persuasive woman. You know? Yeah, all women are like that. Troublesome things. Oh, what? Never mind. Oh, recently she didn't want it anymore, so we ended up selling it to you. Another question, please. Oh, yes. There was a tablet on the statue, if I'm on the statue, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, there was. There was with a lightning symbol on it. I think. I thought so. Is that all, Mr. Thorne? Any other questions? No, thank you, Mr. Bates. That was very helpful. Oh, can I ask a question too? Go ahead. Oh, have you identified the statue's origin? I've been curious about it. Eh, well, I'm still studying it, but I can say it's a really remarkable piece. Oh, okay, so you think the 20 euros you gave me for it was justified? Eh, goodbye. That was interesting, but I don't know what to make of it. Now I'll just try my other deeds. How else can you kill yourself at the apartment? <laughs> That's what I'm curious about. This is the address which was on the lighter. I was going to see if I can get some information on Hector. Hey! What the hell? Move away from that door! Uh, sorry. Don't try my patience. Oops, my bad. Stop! It's my last warning. Enough! Hey! What are you doing? Kicking an idiot out of here. Ouch! Well, it looks like my strategy isn't working. i try another approach. I don't need a new belt, thanks. Oh, there's a cookie in the underpants. Oh. Ew! Let's search. No, nope, nothing in the jacket. You dumbass! Uh, wait! Not my ass! I'm very sensitive! Ah! Ah, my back. God, I hate that guy. So, what's good on the menu? Everything sounds so tasty. Oh cool, they post they posted their phone number. I'll be able to complain remotely. Yeah. Uh, hello, mister. I wanted to ask if you Hey, who are you kidding? Stop that immediately or I'll kick you out. I don't get it. I see you calling me dumbass. Where's your sense of humor? I'll show you. Ooh. How many times do I uh, insist until he lets me in? A sponge for whiteboards. Find a mistake there. 
not touching that. Who knows where it's been? I love to play, but that game's already over. Oh, poor little kitty. I'll find you and bring you home. There's lots of juicy rats to take care of. It's full of bottles. Wine bottles, to be exact. Looks like some of them didn't survive the trip. Poor bottles smashed to pieces. So hard to resist. Put that bottle down right now. Oh, come on! See how many you have? Does one make any difference? If you open that bottle, I'll open up your head, Capiche. What if I taste some of the wine from the broken bottles? Don't test my patience. I'm testing your patience. Gotta let it go. It's hard, though. That wine smells great. No! Test his patience! <laughs> that made me cough just from looking at it! Tom, it's Fjord. Say, I may need help. What? Uh, you know what? I'll call you back. Uh, I'll call him later when I really need his help. Use him to call that guy! Now I should be able to do things myself. It's no use. He wouldn't let me. Better use my mobile phone. About you, but I'd like some information. There's no tourist office, dumbass. Scram! You're wasting my time, damn it! I have to insist. I'm looking for a person who works for you. Oh, really? And what's the name? I don't know his last name, just his first name. Great. You know how many guys, you know how many guys right here? 179. So you better leave quick before. His name's Hector, and I know he works here. Hector? You never heard of him. You sure he's doing stuff here? 100% certain. Okay, dumbass, I'll check. Wait here, don't move. And I'm going in. Locked. Oh, my head's been in already. I checked and you're wrong. No actor here. But, now scram! Can you check your files again? Positive he works here. Alright, check, you're wasting my time. Come on, please, just one more time. Okay, 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 jeez. Hate days like this with stupid idiots.
thought so. You dumbass. No Hector here. Oh, sorry then. Something's wrong. Hector does work here. But this guy's lying, or he's too lazy to check correctly. Let's find another solution. Check one more time? What do you think? What, you think it's some kind of game? Scram before I put a bullet between you, between the eyes. I insist. Wormhead, if you actually tried, you'd find him. Insults now? He just goes to jail. Charge for insulting the security guard like a dumbass. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought he was actually gonna make. Looks like my strategy isn't working. Better try another approach. What the hell? What are you doing? What's that in your hand? Oh. Uh, uh, just trying my house keys on your door to see if they're in. You stole the keys! Charge for being a pathetic spy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> what the? It is the truth. What? It says the moment and there's Hector's name. Don't care. Go away. Something for you. Who are you kidding? What, you don't take bribes? You need a whole lot of money for that. You can't buy me a few bucks. I better find another solution. Well, anyway, I love animated films. What about you? You want to see this DVD? There, that answer your question. Hey, you didn't have to throw it. If it's scratched, you'll be hearing from me. Dumbass. What do you think of my flashlight? Cool, huh? Clear out before I stick it up here. All right, all right. You want to straight guy, dumbass? Jeez, I was just being friendly. Got some good scissors, you know. I have fist ready to punch, you know. Good point. You want a newspaper? You blind, you dumbass. Oh, that's right. You already got one. You're such an idiot sometimes. That's an understatement. <laughs> you hungry? Cause I got this this can of sausages and. Getting lost, you're wasting my time. Look, I'm taking these keys. Oh, what keys? And my car keys and a mailbox key. Jeez, I think your head is time. Well, I better go. Convince the police. Convince the police. Alright. Here's your proof. Read this article. Don't you see the correlation to my story? Not really. Not really. It says antique seller was killed last week. That man has a statue identical to the one that belongs to me. And look at the picture. No tablet either. All right, but that doesn't prove anything. Could have made up the whole thing based on that newspaper. I'll include the article in your report, but that's pretty much it. So despite all this, I still can't get an appointment with Inspector Cassidy. Sorry, but you really. But I really can't be of any help for you now. And I'm, I'm literally dying of thirst. Mm, let's say I bring you a drink. Would that help me get an appointment? Maybe. Just maybe if you brought me an ice cream. An ice cream. Okay, I'll get you that. Quick, please. I'm suffocating this uniform. So you want ice cream, yeah? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Seeing you idle like this makes me all sweaty. Says the guy with his butt in this chair all day. Selling ice cream, you see. Yep. Give me an ice cream, please. What's the flavor? Uh, I don't know. Vanilla, maybe? What's the number ice cream coming up? Here you go. That'll be five euros, please. Hey, right. Take the last bill. <sighs> hope, hope this was worth it.
probably melted by the time you got there. Still hanging around? With weather like this, you shouldn't get yourself so worked up. Oh, an ice cream! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give wow, you snatched it from my hand. <laughs> oh, what is this? Well, a vanilla ice cream? Vanilla? You said vanilla? Uh, yeah. I hate vanilla! It's awful! Wow. Hey, you didn't have to throw it away. How was I supposed to know? You should have asked! Well, I still brought you an ice cream. So how about getting me an appointment? You almost poisoned me and now you want me to help you? Uh, yeah. Get out! Wait, wait! Okay, I'll bring you another. What do you, what do you like? Coconut. Good, coconut and that's all. You don't like coconut ice cream? Precisely. I had to get the most annoying police officer ever. I'm always so lucky. Alright, alright, I'll bring you a coconut ice cream. With no money! There's something else I have to tell you. You have hemorrhoids? You have hemorrhoids? What? No! You sure? Because you keep scratching yourself all over the place. That's not why the door to my antique shop was forced open. Is that so? Can't be a coincidence that these are looking for something. I doubt that. There's dozens of store there's dozens of stores wild every day, you know. But both happen during the same night. You're probably just an unlucky person. What do they steal? Nothing at all. And they're not thieves. And and what? Can you at least add that to the report? Alright, if you insist. There, it's added. Happy? I guess. I'll go now. Sure, hey. How am I supposed to get ice cream now? He is not gonna give me another ice cream. That guy is not gonna give me another ice cream. Alright. I've played a good amount. I've been playing for an hour and a half. Yeah, I played a good amount. So I'll just leave it here. And we might come back to this. Like, once I get past the beginning, it actually starts getting a bit more enjoyable. With the jokes and the many ways I can die. And that's kind of what I'm doing. That's kind of what I'm doing is searching for ways to die. <laughs> So, there I, before I go, I want to see if I can kill myself and the other thing. Let's lick the door. Nope, not cooking up flavor. I'm going to do it in died again. <laughs> okay, it's the same game over screen. Try to see if there's a way. See if there's a way to like kill him again. I already tried it. I think refuses to burn. <laughs> hmm. 
You can't even burn the trash? I saw that joke and I was like, you know, I'm done for now. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.